Hey guys, so today I'm determined to find a place of my own. I'm right now in my guest house room in Julie guest house. It's pretty nice, but since I've been sick and I've been like all over the place, I really want to find like a place of my own and have like a nice place to put my fruit in, cook some food, have a blender and just be myself without having to go from one place to another. I'm really hoping I could find something good enough, but I'm willing to just settle for a place for one month and then see what's up, find maybe another place, move around, I don't know. I'm about to check out and do some exploring. I'm in a fucking song town. Air pollution is so bad right now. I finally have a room of my own! <laughs> Look at this! Yeah! It's about fucking time! So yeah, this is my place. I feel really weird because I've been like a month and a half just like all over the place. Seriously all over the place. Um, I got tired of it. I got sick and I just kind of feel like I want to be on my own now. Yeah, I was looking for some other places before. I was walking around with a big backpack, but then I asked an Israeli friend of mine I met here, um, where is he living and maybe I could live there and it's really cheap and I left, his, I left my backpack at his place and just like went around and found a place. Okay, so I wanted to do a um, proper house tour. Welcome to my really, really, really messy room. This is a khamsa. It's a kind of Moroccan symbol against bad luck um, and evil eye. This is my closet and dresser. This is my sarong. I bought it in Bangkok. My bag of clothes. Jacket I bought in pie and some laundry I need to get done. Here, there's a TV that was there, but I wanted to do this like a kind of kitchen thing, so I put it here. I had to take off those doors to put it in. This is the dresser, and this is me. Hello, hey. Uh, this is the dresser. I have drawers here, but that's like organized for me I just have to have my shit like all over the place like this <laughs> this is the kitchen kind of I kind of do my dishes like the small dishes I wash them here in, the, in that sink and the big dishes I just wash in the shower <laughs> it is kind of weird it's not comfortable but I'm paying like 5,000 baht so who gives a fuck you know and this is my balcony this is where I dry my dishes. Yeah, and this is where I ripen my bananas. I have some mangoes ripening here. Bananas I bought a few days ago, not fully, fully ripe. Uh, masks, because the air pollution is like fucking insane here, so you gotta have some of these. More potatoes. And my new Vitamix copy blender thing. 1200 watt and it cost me like 2090 baht which is like 240 shekels or something like that like r really super ridiculous and it's like really good um, it's there on the bed I already had my smoothie a Tupperware so I can eat from like big portions and take to restaurants as well and take and get like takeaway if I don't finish something um, this is a rice cooker. The rice cooker is there drying because I cleaned it. And this is like the, what's it called? Steamer, to steam vegetables with your rice steam. You can make like soups and rice and stews and like pasta and pretty much everything that a normal um, pot does. It cost me 
800 something baht, which is like 80 shekels or 90 shekels, not even 100 shekels. Okay, so here I have some more like stuff that needs to be cooked. Oats, I fucking love oats. Let me show you what's in my fridge. I have here in my freezer some frozen bananas. I need to freeze more when these ripen right up. Here I have juices. This is the Mali pineapple juice. It's nice. Yeah, it's better when it's cooled. Um, it's okay. It has like 500 calories per one liter. It's nice. I have it once in a while. But this, this is the real deal. This is like the best orange juice I'd ever, ever tried anywhere in the fucking world. It's so fucking good. It's the medley orange juice by Tipco. You can find it here um, in some places, like big supermarket. Um, here I have crack. This is organic palm sugar. It's super, super delicious. It's like undescribable. Really fucking good. Fucking love it. I put it in smoothies. I just eat it like that with a spoon. Um, half an avocado. More sugar I just finished today. Um, take away some lettuce and mint leaves I wanted to add to my smoothies. And some celery and green onions. Curry paste. Red, red curry paste. And green curry paste. This is the toilet. You've seen it already. Just gonna explain a bit about this thing in Thailand. They don't have like what I'm used to, at least in Israel, that we have like water boilers from the sun. Usually they have like a shower right next to the toilet. Shower, toilet, shower, toilet. I'm not sure I'm liking this, but you know, whatever. It's just every time you go pee, you get your feet completely wet. This is the bed. This is a king size bed or something. I got beddings, which is really uncommon when you rent a place here in Chiang Mai or in Thailand, I guess. Usually you bring your own beddings, and beddings here are so fucking expensive. I have no idea why. Uh, makes no fucking sense to me, because everything else is cheap. Uh, so it's really nice I got some beddings. The mattress is... it's shit. <laughs> I almost broke my hand when I was like sleeping on it, and I usually sleep like really weird, like really, really weird, and I have my hand here, and it's just like almost broken. <laughs> But you get used to it, I guess. I've slept here for like a few nights already and it's, well, when you need to sleep, you need to get some sleep, so whatever. Anyway, outside, we have a pool here. It's a really nice pool. I already had my tan on there. Um, this apartment um, is costing me 5,000 baht per month, which is like... 560 shekels or something. I'm living in Huaikiao residence. It's on Huaikiao Street, which is like a really nice area. Five minutes from here, it's like the really posh area, Niemann Hemin, and there's like clubs there and restaurants, and it's really kind of close to everywhere. I recommend if you guys are coming to Chiang Mai and you need a place to stay, come here because it's cheap and it's really really nice and there's a pool and there's also like a few vegans here in this residence you can get this kind of room for 3500 per month if you're renting for three months I just have like a real serious issue with commitments and I don't want to commit to three months I want to stay here for one month and see what I'm gonna do next I have to say the internet here is like the best of all the places I've been to like every residents you have like a shitty internet and well the thing is here that you can't really have like two devices connected at the same time you have to have like one device connected which really sucks but at least the uh, Wi-Fi is good and it's fast and it's like moving and you can actually see a proper YouTube YouTube video you have to pay like one month deposit when you get here which makes sense and you get it once you leave. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, press the like button, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and stuff. I have also a blog in henyamania.com, check it out. I have a Facebook page, Instagram, Tumblr, Google+, Twitter. I think that's it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!